Happy Monday. Welcome back to the channel. This is Take 5. My name is Luke. Today I'm going to be talking about The Fablemans. This is the latest film from director Steven Spielberg. It's also written by Steven Spielberg and Tony Kushner. It stars Michelle Williams, Gabriel LaBelle, Paul Dano, Seth Rogen, and many more. Growing up in post-World War II era Arizona, young Sammy Fableman aspires to become a filmmaker as he reaches adolescence, but soon discovers a family shattering a discovers a shattering family secret and explores how the power of films can help him see the truth. Essentially, if you're not familiar with this, um, and this is a very special movie, this is one I really enjoyed, so I, I wouldn't really say I'm going to get into spoilers per se, um, but I will encourage you, if this film is playing in your local theater or a theater nearby, please go see it, especially if you're a fan of Steven Spielberg, because this is basically his love letter to filmmaking. Uh, this is a film that is pretty much based around his life. Um, I did go through some fact checks and so much of this, uh, pretty much all of the high level elements did in fact happen through Steven Spielberg's life. It's just been edited and uh, you know dramatized in a way that's more meant for this film. But this really gives you a great insight into you know what his introduction was into films, what his family life was like growing up, moving around so much, and how film filmmaking just helped him get through a lot of things. And the biggest thing here, of course, within this film is that there is a family secret um, that's, that Steven's character, Sammy, discovers uh, through a camping trip uh, when he just made films uh, with the camping trip. And a lot of it has to do between his parents and a family friend. And I'll try to leave that there and not go into spoilers per se. But, um, you know, it, it's, you know, Sammy loves filmmaking so much. But being able to see a truth through a film that he created was very weighing on him. And really sets up a, a, a pretty deep tone throughout the second half of this film. Um, but, you know, going into this, I really enjoy this film overall. It is a two and a half hour film. Uh, we are following this family as we kind of see uh, this young boy growing up as he's being introduced into films. His father is a uh, engineer, um, really around computers, and he's advancing in his career. Basically, we see that his father, who is portrayed by Paul Dano, is really just a workaholic. He's extremely smart. He's climbing the ladder. Um, he's created things that is, you know, he sees the future of computers and where it's going. And the things that he's created has gotten the attention of all these various companies. So it's basically moving his family across the country. They moved to Arizona, which the bulk of this film is within the air when they lived in Arizona. Going into uh, Sammy's senior year, they do end up moving to California, which is another big piece of the film. Uh, but a lot happens within Arizona. Uh, we have Michelle Williams playing Sammy's mother, who is more on the artistic side of things. She plays piano and um, basically just loves being a kid in a way. You do get this Peter Pan-esque element where, you know, she is more of a big sister versus being an actual mother. Uh, she just loves the art. She's very encouraging. Sammy also has younger sisters. He is the oldest. He's got three sisters. And so as Sammy is learning about filmmaking, learning how to edit, he's pulling his family in as he wants to create movies, using them as the actors, or he's using his friends. And he's drawn, he's doing a lot of things that he's, that he's finding through other films that he's getting inspiration from. One thing I found really fascinating is like Paul Dano's character as the father, I was really going and expecting a lot more um, of, I guess, you know, having one parent being for filmmaking, the other one being completely against it, but he never necessarily was. He actually, from what I what I saw in the film is that the father character actually helped out a lot with the films. He, uh, he did support it, but he always viewed it as a hobby. He never really said like, hey, go pursue this as a career. He really wanted Sammy to kind of uh, get out of this hobby at some point and find something that's more career-based to really focus on. 
and I thought that was really interesting. Um, I was expecting a little bit more there, but uh, I think what happened there was really, really interesting to, to see it pan out. It's also interesting to see how it pans out between, you know, a technical parent versus an artistic parent and how they work together, how they clash, uh, how things unfold in the end. Um, and then you also have Seth Rogen's character, who is basically the father's best friend and how he plays into the role with the family as a whole, as well as the parents themselves. So if there's anything I had to nitpick about this film, uh, I had some issues within the first act of this. And a lot of this has to do with just the family. I thought the family was a little bit too animated. Uh, it was just hard for me to buy into. But as everything progressed and as the kids got older, that kind of animation-esque style of the family kind of faded away and it became a little bit more believable, relatable. Um, and really that was the only issue I had. It was a little hard to buy into that at the beginning, but as the story progressed and things moved forward, um, I just, I was glued to the screen. I mean, this is potentially an emotional film for many, especially if you love films, you love filmmaking. I mean, this movie had me laughing, had me smiling, had me crying. Um, it's just it's just really something special to watch. Um, and it's one I will definitely revisit uh, going forward. So before I get into my ranking, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Be sure to like this video. Uh, let me know, what is your favorite Steven Spielberg film? Let's talk about that in the comments below. I'll share mine. So for the Fablemans, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This is definitely one of my favorite films of the year. Some little issues with it, but as a whole, uh, this is just a very, very special film. I'm glad that Steven Spielberg finally made this. Um, I love so many of his films. He is an incredible director, and it's incredible to see this film on the big screen. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this one. What's your favorite Steven Spielberg film? Uh, let's chat about that. I'll be back later with more reviews this week. I've got some that I'm very excited to talk about. We also have Avatar The Way of the Water coming out in theaters later this week. So I can't wait to check that one out and talk about it. So thanks so much and we'll see you soon.